Hi everyone. Want to, do you want to say hi? Hi. Yes, Mason is with us today. So, um, I have no idea how on earth I haven't done a um, book review for this book because um, I have uh, mentioned it, I think, in the Friday's video and um, I was convinced that I've done a review. So, I went back to include the link in the description box for you to have a look, but I realized that basically... I haven't done it so here it is um, I had this book this was probably one of the first um, books that I purchased on watercolors and this must have been around oh gosh almost a year ago maybe just before summer or just after summer something like that so it's I had it for quite a while it's beautiful it's very I love the cover it just uh, very striking and just from the cover you can tell that it's going to be a fun a book so it's by veronica ballard lilia i hope i pronounced the name correctly so here is the artist veronica moved from stockholm to barcelona in 2000 to study graphic design afterwards moving into illustration based in new york since 2014 today she works full-time as an illustrator and her clients are mainly fashion brands magazines and advertising agencies okay so i had to zoom out so you could see the entire book um so this gives you a good indication of her style very bright very colorful super fun just looking at ordinary objects and kind of making them making them fun really um so in the contents we've got color and paint um, then we have materials and workspace Mixing watercolour with other media, textures, using watercolour with other materials and objects, tutorials, food, still life, fashion, animals, nature, cityscapes. And that is that. So looking at these flamingos is just, I love the colour. It's just so fresh and different. She takes it and she just creates a great piece to look at. So I'm just going to give you a little flip through. So here is the color the um, theory that she is talking about. So here is um, the palette. Here she says start a selection. My recommendation for starting out would be to make your palette with the following. Black, white, two different reds, two yellows, two oranges, two browns, two grays, two greens, two blues, two violets and two pinks. So um, some artists don't like using white because that makes the watercolor opaque, but um, it really depends on your style. Um, so, and then she says the in the image of the left, you can see names of the paints that it would use more section of 40. So not including white. So this is 40 of her um, watercolors and uh, types of paint. So let's have a look. So I can see Van Gogh. Um, HWC um, that's pretty much I think what she likes to use okay and then these ones are obviously the uh, Dr. PH Martins the concentrate radiant concentrate colors right so um, and then she likes to use hydras as well right here so you get the idea that she likes bright vivid watercolors then uh, there is also other forms of watercolors so she talks about different um, crayons pencils etc um, let me just go onto her art so you can see better uh, what her style is so here is some beautiful ink and watercolor um, a radish illustration so it says here Chinese calligraphy um, ink and then some fashion illustrations if you are into that. So that's a great book for me because I have an interest in fashion and scrapbooking and watercolors. So somehow I'm trying to connect the three in the best and most balanced way. This is quite cute here. So watercolor and embroidery. So she uh, uses embroidery in her watercolor so you can literally do just do anything and take it to a very artistic kind of um, level 
um, and not just keep it watercolor if you want you can um, experiment and just combine it so textures um, there is all sorts of things she is teaching and here is the soul technique which I keep saying I need to do so that's coming soon so there are the echoline and the hydrus um, inks here this is the this one I have actually tried from her book this is the liquid mask technique I'll just grab the um, traveler's notebook and show you my pineapple that I've done from this book so here is my pineapple um, I don't know how to put it so you can see just the uh, comparison right here that was super fun and super super quick so that was great and um, so then there is some tutorials here and a really big variety of things um, the artichokes with um, she's using the micro um, probably in the zero one or the very finest one because it's very very fine the the line here and we've got some food illustrations uh, which are relatively simple but very colorful and I like this sort of um, kind of merge of colors and just uh, really having loads of fun with it and just playing and making sure every petal looks different and just breaking down it doesn't look flat is what I'm trying to say so I'm a big fan of this type of thing and there is a different style here where it's just color blocking um, and there's some sort of overlaying as well just to make it a little bit more interesting and, and let's see we've got some of that as well um, still life such so as painting all sorts of objects that you have and then there are some different techniques in terms of cutouts more fashion illustration so here is some collaging I gained fashion fashion this is the bird that I have done from her book and that's in the Friday video if you want so if you want to see the frame uh, the framed picture um, you can see it on my Instagram I'll put the uh, link below or the um, Instagram name I try to be now more active these days and quite often you will find out on Instagram um, what I am up to and what's coming so if you uh, want to see that so these are again flamingos they're super fun more whales and let's see there's one that's coming up which is really cute um, this one I like the simple shapes of London so she just collaged everything together and it looks really nice in terms of collage I mean she painted that she drew them like that which looks quite nice um, this this looks great this would look great in um, in the living room or something like that I just love the colors here and um, it just looks great this is obviously New York um, so she she has a few steps here which she shows and explains and that is it so very fun book sorry if you feel like you want to get this book as well because I know some of you really like my book reviews and um, they help you to find out whether that's a book for you or not and I love this book one of my favorites and like I said I'm just so surprised I haven't done uh, a review for this I must have slipped my mind so that is it and I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. See you soon.